Daily Driver Diaries. Open the bonnet today to have a quick look at the old engine piece and um, went to close it again and found that it wouldn't really close properly. Let's have a little, can I do this one-handed? Check this out. So it looks like we've lost one, two, three of the four rivets. So I'm gonna have to get these out. You can see down there, maybe, maybe you can't see. Um, they have just failed. So I'm gonna drill these out, that one out, and get me the old old and try and hook this back in. Because as you can see, that's not, Ideal. I have to try and drill these existing rivets out. So I go with the old snipers. Never really done any riveting before. Right, well that's out of the way. Let's just snip. One and two. Yep. Okay. This one. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just giving up. Now the question is, am I going to want to get that one out as well? Hmm. Do I want to take the grill off? Not really. Am I going to need to? Let's drill this. Well, it's spinning freely. I wonder if there's a special tool for doing this. Is that still spinning? I wonder if I can put some... I'm trying to put a little bit of pressure on it to stop it from spinning. From the top. Come on, that's gonna be. gonna have to pull the grill off. Ideally not. I think I am. <sighs> so I've got the remains of these rivets stuck in the, this bit down here and am I gonna get better access? Yeah. Right then. That is a screwdriver. Back in a second. Okay, then top of the screws. Are they even screwing into anything? Barely. Put those 
don't want to lose them. I think that's all we need. Okay, a couple of clips. Clippy clip. cable that comes in along there from the inside of the car. Let me see if we can just do some, some wiggling. There we go. They're actually quite easy to pull out. Well, that one was. Pulled out. There. Two to go. And it's always, always one of those things. What's the trade-off? Do I bother taking it apart more? Just with the old long nose, needle nose. Not gonna get us anymore. Not really. <sighs> oh man, that is cheesy. Oh, there we go. No finger damage, no death. So just one more to pull out. On the cusp of coming out. There we go. Now to see if I have any suitable rivets. This is the rivet set we're using. It's a Draper something. Draper set. No, big. I don't know, that looks similar. Let's go with that. Ah. So I guess, yeah, that feels about right. Now how does it work? It's way round. Does it go from underneath? Do I need to use a particular die? Does it go from the top? There you go from the top. Should probably read the instructions, but you know that's not gonna happen. I think that's the right die end. It says four on the end of it, 4.0. So. It's just gonna, yep. Okay, I'm taking off a 3.2 and putting on 4.0. Terribly sorry for the uh, use of these needle nose pliers to undo that. Makes you weep. That's just how it is. All right, that's in. Now then. Ah, you know what? Look at that. Comes with its own little Die wrench, didn't need to do that. So, what happens here? Do we drop this in the back? Nope. Do we do that? I'm gonna do a test. I'm just gonna... Uh, okay. Oh. Too much. So we've got all, the, all these out. 
these holes in there. Really. They're the old river tunes. This is what we're gonna be fitting. Let's see if I can't produce this. Is that gonna hold? We'll go with it. Alright. So small edge of brace. Run that down the hole. This on the top. Yeah. All right. Does it come out the back? He's, ah, there we go. Drops out the back just nice. It's not left the best finish on the end, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty good. A couple more of these. Right. So again, drop that in from the top. Pulling up on this, and that in. Oh. <sighs> well, it didn't really break where I expected it to. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, what does that mean? Weird. Have I broken something already? Whoop! Oh, and that one in there. I'm just making sure that it's kind of gone all the way through the bracket latch out assembly. Oh, that's good. Again, it snapped high up. I don't know why. Not like that much off. Not a lot. It's probably if something wrong in the technique. I'll tell you what though, that is feeling solid. That's one. Maybe I need to try a bit more speed. <laughs> nope. Hey! Hey, that's better. Not that much off this time. Tell you what though, it feels solid. Uh, okay, is it the old Draper piece? Snip, snip, snip these off a bit nicely, yeah? Nice. Oh, tell you what, yeah. Nice. Now well, they're a bit. Sort of cutty. Tempted to grab a file or something just to touch them up, but did we check it before we put the grill on? It's pretty solid. That's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that good. Uh, okay. Oh, missing a... Yeah. Missing two, so what? Three? Okay, so that headlight has one of its four screws holding in. That's heavy over here. Got one. Okay. Illuminators. What's this? Do, 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 do. So, I'm not sure. That's really I'm not sure the. I got the. What do you call it? Technique. Quite right. With the old rivetulizer just then, but it feels pretty solid for now. That's definitely good enough to get me back home, and then we'll check. I should have filed it before putting the grill back on. <sighs> I got my 
myself some fire yells. Raphael is here. We got Alden, Alden Janky. Yeah, there we go. This is a file. Not the best angle. It might not be exactly the right tool. I just want to. Tidiest job. Fine. That's what we've achieved. Four new rivets in there. I mean, it's pretty solid. I've scratched up this slam handle a little bit, but that's fine. Got it. Happy with that. Cool, so, Mark II daily, keeping it on the road, that was a little fix, the, I don't know what you'd call it, clasp, the part that kind of hooks into the pin that comes from the bonnet and keeps the bonnet held down, it had fallen off, and we used a 20, 30 quid Draper rivet set, drill, a couple of hand tools, Easy job, and uh, now it closes a lot better than it did. Peace.